So today, you are going to be reacting to yourself. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Really? Okay. I'm wondering what this is gonna like be. Oh god. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like my kids react days. You are going to be reacting to yourself from the first kids react episode you were in. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. I know exactly which one it was too. It was Friday by Rebecca Black. <laughs> that was like five, six years ago. It's gonna be a little awkward and embarrassing, but also it'll be like a fun thing that I can laugh at. It's really nice that like in the future, when I'm like really old, that I will be able to look at me in my youth. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a picture of what you looked like for your first episode. Oh my God. There I am. Oh, look at my hair and my shirt. <laughs> I feel like I look more or less the same. I was 11, so I was like six years ago. Ew. <laughs> I look like a blueberry in that shirt. <laughs> this was like seven or eight year old me. Oh God. The difference, the, the difference. <laughs> Thank God for puberty. Well, now we're gonna show you some footage from your first episode. Oh boy. Do you remember what the topic was? Um, I think it was, oh, it was, it was Mishka the talking dog. I tried to get my dog to do this, it did not work. My voice is the same! I thought it would change. It has a little bit, but it's like mostly the same. So had you seen this before? Um, yeah, cause me and my sister, we were like obsessed with it for a long time. I sound like a chipmunk. We tried to get our dog to talk, but all she do is bark. I'm so little. Can dogs talk? Well, I don't know. Cause like, I love my dog, but I'm not sure if she loves me. <laughs> she loves me. I now know that. I now know she loves me. It's not just for food. So can any animals talk? Humans can talk. That's true. Hey, we're not so different. I remember it was like a totally different studio. I was like really small, as you could see. This was like the, my first time ever meeting Benny and Rafi. Also, it was like new people. Ah, hope they like me. And I guess they did, because I'm still here. How do you feel? Oh my god. Oh, it's Captain America. My facial expressions are, I think, the same. They're very like emotive. I don't really hide anything. And do you want to see the movie? No. Ooh, my voice is so weird, the gravel is like, no. Why don't you really want to see it? I think it looks really boring. Ooh, I don't like how it was like, I don't like how my voice sounds. I look cute, like kid cute, but I just sound really weird. Can you tell us everything that you know about Captain America? Um, I don't really know anything about Captain America. Honestly, that's the same too. <laughs> I miss being a little kid. Do you know any of the actors that are in the movie? No. <laughs> It's just me saying no, 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 no. If you were writing Captain America and you were like, Captain America is your hero, what would you name the villain? Captain United Kingdom. That is so cringy. I'm like really annoyed at my younger self. Do you know where the uh, idea for Captain America came from? Like, do you know no. if it was something- Comic was books. Was? No, was it? Mm, it was actually a comic book. How do you, wait, Captain Underpants? No, Captain America. <laughs> Captain Underpants, are you kidding me? Oh, okay, sorry. Because there's this book called Captain Underpants, and I think it's like- Yes, everyone knows what Captain Underpants is. That is so dumb. I'm so annoyed. I thought Captain America was inspired by Captain Underpants. That is so dumb. Day comes after <laughs> Oh my god. What did you think of the lyrics of the song? You don't really talk about what you do every single day. Oh my god. Oh boy. So you think the song was good? I think it's pretty bad. No. <laughs> I was brutally honest. I feel like now I'm like polite and I respect everyone and I respect everybody's decisions and opinions and feelings, but back then I did not give a single bother. I did not care. What about care. the guy in the middle of the video that started rapping? I have no idea. <laughs> God. What do you think is going to happen to her career? What happens now for Rebecca Black? I think she may get more famous by writing more bad songs. <laughs> I'm so mean. I respect seven or eight year old me for just saying whatever I wanted to because I didn't care what people thought about me. But at the same time, it's like, you still need to have an open mind and consider all sides to everything. It's like, some of the things that I said could have probably been offensive to some people. I'm open-minded and I like to consider all sides to things, but it's like, that doesn't mean I'm gonna throw away my opinion. I'm still gonna be like brutally honest. I really don't listen to girl 
music, really. Girl I music? I pretty much just listen to classic stuff. I don't really listen to actually pop-ish type stuff. Uh, I play drums, and we do like Paramore and uh, Linkin Park. And that's kind of pop-ish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things don't really change. I feel like some things stay the same. I remember my first shooting day with Benny and Rafi. I remember pulling up when they were literally filming videos in their apartment. I remember getting to the apartment and my mom calling my dad and saying, hey, we're in front of the house right now. Here's the address. If I don't text you within the next five minutes letting you know that we're okay, I need you to call the cops. And they were honestly the sweetest guys I had ever met. You've done this show since you were eight years old. And your first episode was actually the first episode that only showed one video. And it was the episode that started the fines doing weekly releases that have never stopped for the past six years. Wow. Growing up. I joined the Fine Brothers kind of at a turning point in my life where I felt like I was actually going to start growing up soon. And I almost can't even imagine what life was like before I joined them just because I did this show for so long. It's like the Fine Brothers had been a part of my life for so long. I've loved every single minute of this and it's been such an amazing six years for me. After leaving for a while, it broke my heart. Because it's like, I, I love Benny and Rafi, and I had been doing this for so long, and so just finally getting to come back and be in the studio, it's, it feels really good. It feels like home, because it's like, this is basically my second family. So how does it feel to watch yourself being on Kids React, and now you're on Teens React, knowing that you really could keep being on this show well into your adult years and beyond? I know. I don't think there'll really ever come a day where I watch a complete episode, and I don't wish they hadn't said something, so... Like every single one that I watch, I'm just like, oh my God. I'm starting to like apply for colleges now. Like this summer, I'm getting that all done because I'm a junior in high school. And I've been thinking like, what am I gonna do in college? Like, am I gonna still be on React? And I was like, well, yeah, I guess. I could literally be on it till like the day I die. And I get to like see myself grow. And it's like something that like I'm actually really thankful for. Viewers are able to have like a personal connection with the people on this show. It's like the people on the show are just putting themselves out there and being brutally honest and just giving their opinions on different things and just getting to talk. They've created these new shows for all ages, so basically you can just watch these people grow up. And I feel like that's something that you can't really see in any other show. You could see me on Elders React in like 50 years. So you guys could be stuck with me forever. Yeah.